Get ready for a quick quest guide for the Biohazard quest, in which the main rewards for completing are 1,250 thieving experience, access to the combat training camp northwest of Ardoon, the ability to freely travel through the West Ardoon gate, and the ability to use the West Ardoon teleport both in the Arceus spellbook and as a teletab. The only quest requirement is to have completed the Plague City quest, and there are no skill requirements. In terms of items, you'll just need about 50 coins which will more than cover your costs as well as your gas mask from the Plague City quest. If you've dropped yours then you can get one from the cupboard in Edmund and Dalrina's house just west of the quest start. Also note that if the mask is in your bank then you won't be able to get one from the cupboard. When it comes to recommended items you'll want weight reducing armor as well as two stamina potions to help with all the running around involved in the quest. You'll also need to defeat a level 13 enemy so potentially bring along a weapon and some food if needed to help with that fight as well. Additionally, you will want a skills necklace with at least three charges, as well as one Varrock teleport. While not essential, if your house is located in Remington, then I'd also suggest bringing one teleport to your house to speed things up a little. Now you can begin this quest at Eleanor's house in the northwestern area of East Ardoon. Talk to Eleanor and skip through the dialogue before selecting yes to officially start the quest. After you've done this, go to Jericho's house across the stream. It's a bit of an effort to run south and around, but if you have level 33 agility then you can use the log balance behind the house to make this faster. Talk to Jericho who is either in or around the house and skip through the chat. Afterwards go into his house and open the cupboard located in the northwestern corner before searching it to find some bird feed. Once you have the feed, run east of his house whereby you'll find some pigeon cages on the floor. Take one of these. Next, run southwest going across the bridge and continuing further southwest. You'll find Omar hanging out along the wall between East and West Ardoon. Talk to him and then spacebar through the chat. After this is done, you'll then want to run north until you reach the gate leading to West Ardoon. Stand on the corner where the spikes around the watchtower meet and then use your bird feed on the spikes. After this is done, select open on your pigeon cage to let loose a bunch of white pigeons. Once the pigeons have been released, return back south to Omart and wear your gas mask before talking to him. And after engaging with him, then say, okay, let's do it. To be sent over the wall. Now run north a long ways and then go a little bit west. And along the top wall, you should see a rotten apple that you'll want to pick up. Next, you will want to squeeze through the fence that's just to your east which will land you right next to a cauldron. Now use your rotten apple on the cauldron to pop it inside. Now squeeze back through the fence and then run a long way south and then a little further southwest, whereby you'll see a smallish house along the border with Nurse Sarah inside. Open and search the cupboard in her house to receive a medical gown. After it's on, then run northeast all the way to the most northeastern building in West Ardoon that has a mourner out the front. Enter into the building and then go up the staircase in the western room. Then go onto the rooftop to your east and kill the level 13 mourner who's hanging out on the rooftop. And after he dies, he'll drop a key for you. Use the key to open the nearby gate and then stand in the most northeastern tile that you can before searching the crate directly to your north to find Eleanor's distillator. Once it's retrieved, use your skills necklace to teleport to the fishing guild and then run southwest going across the bridge and then continuing south back to Eleanor's house. After you reach Eleanor, chat to her and skip through the dialogue, after which she'll hand you three vials of various substances as well as a plague sample. Next, you'll want to use your skills necklace to teleport to the crafting guild and then run south to the chemist. If your house is in Remington, then you can use a teleport to house tablet instead to save some extra time. Once you arrive, chat to the chemist inside and select to talk about your quest. And then after space barring through a heap more dialogue, he will hand you some touch paper. Just to the north of the chemist, you'll notice three people hanging out around a campfire. Now be very careful to select the correct option for the following dialogues. 
firstly talk to Chansey who is playing cards and choose to give him the liquid honey. Next, talk to Hops who is a little bit smashed and choose to give him the sulfuric broline. Finally, chat to the artist Da Vinci and choose to give him the Ethernia. Next, teleport to Varrock and go southwest into Thessalia's clothes shop. Trade with her and then purchase the priest gown top and bottom for 10 coins in total. And once you have the gown, pop it on and then run southeast to the gated off area at the corner of Varrock. Open the gate whereby you'll be searched and allowed in, and then head a little bit south to the bar. Chat to Chansey, to Hops, and to Da Vinci to have your three vials returned to you. Once you have all three vials, double check that you're wearing your priest robes, and then enter the house to your southeast before going into the eastern room whereby you'll find Guido. Chat to Guido, and after a bit of dialogue, say, I've come to ask your assistance in stopping the plague, and then skip through the rest of the chat whereby you'll learn that the plague is just one big lie. Next, use your skills necklace to teleport to the fishing guild, and then run southwest and then south to return back to Eleanor and speak with her, and she'll suggest that you go and speak to the king. Run out of Eleanor's house and then go south, taking the path a little east before going west into the castle grounds. Enter into the western entrance and then go up the stairs before heading into a small room a little to your east whereby you'll find King Lathus. Talk to the king and spacebar through the chat, where you'll learn that the lie of the plague is to protect people from a much greater threat to the west, whereby his brother Tyrus was captured by the Dark Lord who corrupted him, and Lathus will also alert you to the underground pass to the west. After the chat, bam, quest complete. You'll be awarded 1,250 thieving experience, access to the combat training camp northwest of Ardoon, the ability to freely travel through the West Ardoon Gate and the ability to use the West Ardoon Teleport both in the Arceus Spellbook and as a Teletab. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next quest!